So the question so many of your fans and, and people in the softball world want to know, why now? Why did you decide to, to retire after all the success and, and all the great career moments you've had here? I, I don't think there's a, a real answer for that, you know. Um, I will love coaching. I could walk in the dugout and hit fungos and blow my whistle for the rest of my life. But there's just a lot of aspects to running a program that require equal attention and effort. And I believe that at this point, the, the person that's doing it should be the head coach. And I support that fully. How long did it take you to, to come to peace with this decision to finally step away and give that whistle up? I, I may have underestimated how challenging that final decision would be because I, I'm still very passionate and I leave with my passion intact. Um, but it was a process. I learned it was a process of going through different steps and uh, being real with myself. And, uh, you know, it's evolved over probably a few years as I, but I, I loved coaching. And at this point, I, I think I, I'm, in, I'm at peace. I know you felt the love over the years. But since the announcement, have you felt it and, and taken a step back to go, oh, wow, I guess I did make a heck of an impact? I just refer back to my mom who told me when I was a kid, you're the luckiest kid. <laughs> I've had a lot of great, I've had a great life. I, I'm so fortunate to have so many people in my life. And I, I mean what I said uh, in the, my press release that I will only ever measure the people in my life. Not rings, not championships, not wins. It's all about the people. And how many of those people, the players that wore the uniform while you were coaching them, reached out and, and shared a story with you or two since, since you decided to say that you were done? I've heard from so many of them, and uh, many of them have showed up. And, you know, they're the loves. They're, they're why we do what we do. And um, I've stayed in touch with so many of them. And I promised them that the retirement would just be another alumni reunion. That's nice. what I want for my, <laughs> is I just want to see all my people. And that will come probably next fall. I, the last thing I got to ask, when you come to games and you watch, how difficult will it be for you to say, Ooh, and, and maybe hold back, or will that just be natural for you? You're going to have to yell from the stands. Well, I doubt I'll sit in the stands for a while. <laughs> and I trust fully. I know what goes into decisions you make. And you know what? As coaches, we know that we're the only ones that make the final call on the field and don't get to know the outcome. And everybody else in the cheap seats can turn around and say, why'd you do that? And, I know why she's going to make every decision, and I know not every one of them is going to work.